Nico, all right, mm -hmm. man. I'm glad I ran into you. Hey. Uh, a couple of people reached out to me who have been looking for you. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm going to read some something that somebody named Maylin. Yeah, Maylin. Yeah, that's Maylin. my baby. This is what she says. She wrote to me and found me on Instagram and said, hey, this is my dad. I'm his eldest daughter, turning 25 this year. We haven't seen or heard anything from him in over five years since my mom passed. Which area of Seattle was he in when you met him? My gran, his mom, is out in Michigan now and is waiting with her arms open. If you have any contact info or anything, I would be forever grateful. People love him. Life hasn't gotten the best of him yet. Hey, Squid. Hey Jordan, hey, how you guys doing? Uh, I'm sorry that uh, uh, I'm sorry that I haven't been in touch, but you know, like like we had all that stuff going on with with you know my rights getting terminated and everything, and you know, Lana was very vehement and she was very specific in the fact that like she wasn't gonna let me see you guys. You know what I mean? And so I I, I came up there a couple times. You know what I mean? I even interrupted Thanksgiving dinner once. So you know. I just, I, I, I'm not in trouble. I haven't been to jail in, in like almost four years now. You know what I mean? And so I'm trying to keep my nose clean. And, <clears throat> and plus you, you're, you're like old now, you know? When was the last time you, you saw Man, your daughter? I, the last time I saw her, it was a long time ago, man. Well, how old was she, you think? Shit, she was like maybe just 18. Maybe just 18 then, and, and, and I had just gotten back, you know, and finally got out of custody, like all the way out of custody, and so. Your brother also reached out to me. So you got some people who love you? Yeah, man, I, you know, I, I, I it, it's, it's difficult, like, it's kind of hard holding on to the things that could keep you connected to the rest of the world out here. You know what I mean? I mean, it's, it's, it's like, it's like the rat race times four, you know, because I mean, holding on to a cell phone, a jacket, you know what I mean? All that kind of stuff is really difficult out here, man, because you, you know, you're, you're fighting for literally like your next meal or your next breath sometimes when it comes to this shit, man. So. It's been really hard for me to keep a phone or anything I'm to like, man, you know, and like, I mean, I'm doing the best I can, you know what I mean? I'm, 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 I know I probably don't look like myself, but it's me though, you know, and. I'm curious, I mean, <laughs> what does this feel like? Is it, I mean, what and it's, it's like? just, it's surreal to be honest with you, you know, because I mean, I, I, I grew up like all my life, you know what I mean? Like all I wanted was a family, you know what I mean? Like, cause I took care of my little, my little brothers and shit, you know, like, like I used to, them guys used to sleep in the bed with me when we were kids, you know? And, and like, I took care of them just like my mom took care of them, you know what I mean? And, and, and like, and I, I lost everything, bro. You know, and it's it's been really hard. It's been real hard, man. Like, like keep dusting myself off and starting all over again. You know what I mean? But it seems like that's where I'm stuck at. This is I've been out here for like fucking almost eight years now. You know, and like I recently like like over the past forty eight hours. I recently got, they housed me and put me in, in this, this, this place they call a tiny homes village. And so for the past like two days, I've been staying there in housing. So I got myself housed, you know, and, and, and I mean, hopefully, you know, like, like it'll be, I'll be able to build on that from there. You know what I mean? Maybe go back to work or something. I don't know. I got I got this thing that I've been working on. You know, like I'm writing a paper about homelessness. You know, and so I mean it, it's, it's it's trying. I'm trying to help. You know what I mean? And do the best that I can as being a person out here representing himself. You know, because 
I mean, the community, my family, you know, everybody else, people just, people got to understand how much power we really have, man, you know? And it's not, it's not... Tell, tell, tell me more about that. What do you mean by that? Well, I just, I just mean, you know, that, that like, all too often, you know, when you're talking about, like, stuff of this nature, you know, like, you, you, you get kind of... You get kind of stuck in the mindset that, that, you know, like, well, whatever the police say or whatever a judge says or whatever a counselor says is the way that things have to go. And it's not always like that. And then and, and they don't have the final, like, persona non grata, the judgment stick about what happens to us and our family. You know what I mean? Like, like you guys know how I am. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't let nobody tell me what to do. You know, and like, and then when I do, you know what I mean? Like every time I, every time I try to go with the grain for something and do the right thing, the shit ends up blowing up in my face. Tell me, we were you know? talking over there earlier about yeah, the hoops we, we, you're jumping we, through. Tell we, me we about just, that. We were just talking, we were just over there talking, man. And, and like, like I said, I haven't been in trouble in like almost four years now, you know? And, and like, I took parenting classes. I had a a, 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 a a portfolio, a dossier of programs that I had taken for the stuff to try and, and fulfill the obligations that CPS asked me to do, the stuff that they asked me to do, parenting classes, dietary classes, uh, 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 keeping current with my probation, not running all over the place, you know what I mean? Like being in being where I'm where they can come find me if they need me for anything everything man i mean and, and and like and like mom wouldn't let me see the kids still you know what i mean i had to do and you guys saw me you know you know i had to do everything but like around one of the holidays go up there to come and see you unannounced you know what i mean and just come knock on the door with that big crazy ass dog you guys got <laughs> <laughs> that dog used to scare the crap out of me, man. His dog is big wolf. Woof, woof, woof. That dog was huge, man. And I miss you guys. I love you guys to death, man. And I'm going to call you, Squid, and tell your sister I said hello, and then I love her and miss her too. Mom, I miss you. I miss you to death. I hope everything is going good with you. Jay and Dre, man, I hope you niggas is all right, bro. You know what I'm saying? And don't worry about me, game. I'm good. I mean, I may not be good, but, but I'm still alive. I'm still kicking, and I'm still your big brother, baby. So don't worry about me, man. Let me worry about you. Man, I mean, again, I started Seattle Stories just giving voices to people who are voiceless. And I did not know it would turn this way where people would start reaching out to me and saying, Hey, have you seen my dad? This is my brother. This is my son. And... I just happened. I'm so glad that I saw you. I haven't seen you since that day that I talked. Yeah. And that was in yeah, I February. Seen, I seen you out here a couple of times, oh, yeah, you know, dude, doing yeah. stuff with other people, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. and and I always I was just like, man, you know, like like you too, bro. You know what I mean? Like like what you're doing right now is really important. It's really pivotal because there's a lot of stories out here, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? There's a lot of personality in the people that are out here, yeah. you know? Oh, yeah. and, 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 and when you combine that all with the fact that, like, people don't know, you know what I mean? Like, they really don't know, man. And, and, like, and like, you know, this is something that is affecting us as a whole wholeheartedly, man. You know what I mean? Like, the quality of life in this city i'm quite sure everybody gets up in the morning and they they on their morning commute to work they're sitting there riding on the train or on the bus going damn this city sure has changed a whole lot and i don't know if i necessarily like the the, the direction that it's going in you know and so i mean man if, if you're one of those people that says that you know what i mean or if you're just a taxpayer just at home living in your house man you know like you gotta say so and everything that happens out here, this is democracy, man. You know what I mean? We are a majority rule society. That means us, That's the everybody. Idea. That is the idea. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like they ain't, they can't do nothing that we don't let them do. Yeah, that's that's the idea. That's the way. You it's know? <laughs> it sure seems like a 
sometimes that gets a little blurry. Yeah, well, of course it gets blurry because, you know, when some when some when some asshole in a tight suit has got the Fed standing behind him, you know what I mean? It's a big stick, you know what I mean? And so everybody's not accustomed or, 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 or prepared to deal with that, and that's cool, you know what I mean? Like, I get it, you know what I'm saying? But there are those of us who, 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 who are prepared to deal with it, you know what I mean? And advocacy takes on so many different faces in, 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 in a diverse cultural mindset, man, yeah, yeah. you know? Like, I mean, that's that's what it is, bro. It's, these days, it's all about the culture vulture and avoiding them, you know? And so, man, I just I just don't want you guys to worry, man. And I'm trying to get home my damn self. I want to I wanna be home for Christmas and my birthday. Tell me, wh wh where is home for you? I, I'm, I'm, man, this is home, bro. This is home. Don't make, make no mistake about it, man. No, no faking, no flogging, no cap, none of that, man. Like, like, I came here when I was 21 years old. And I've been here ever since, man. My babies were born here. At most of the stuff that I learned is work skills, hustling, every a lot of it, man. It all comes from right here in the 206, man, you know? But but home for me, where I come from, come from, me all the way down to my roots, is back home in Chicago, man. You know? And I mean, and that's that's the that's the place that made me, man. So your mom, I guess your mom's in Michigan. Yep. That's what I hear. My mom is in Michigan because, you know, my, my grandma, rest in peace, she passed away a couple of years ago, right around the same time that my wife passed. And so my mom went to Michigan with, my, with a couple of my other cousins, you know what I mean? Because, I mean, my family, we stick together, you know what I mean? Right, wrong, or indifferent, you know? And so when my granny passed, my mom, she didn't really want to be by herself no more, you know? And so she went with her favorite cousin, you know what I mean? That's what everybody does. Everybody loves their favorite cousin, you know? So, uh, Tell me a little bit too, we were, we were talking over there about how you kind of, you sign your parental rights away, kind of yeah, unknowingly, like, it was know, a little confusing. You know, like it's, it's just, it's just that like, it almost seems like, it almost seems like, like, like child, child protective services, you know what I mean, is not, trying to protect the interest of a parent who maybe has got in trouble or who, who, who needs the intervention or something or whatever, you know, like, like they're trying to take everybody's kids from them, you know, and I don't know what the hell they're doing with them, you know, like, like, I don't, I don't know if, if they're selling them, if they got like baby mills or something or what, you know, but, but like, it's, it, it, it seems like, like America is all about the, the Western idea of family life, man, you know. And, and, and like, that's our family, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, and so, you know, like, like, I don't understand why it is that like, when a person does everything that's asked of them, you know what I mean? Like, like, like people, people go through hell out here, man. And then, and then like, they're doing it, trying to get their kids back, yeah. Yeah. you know? And then like some people, that's all they have left in the world as a marker that they were even here in the first place and then somebody comes along all of a sudden one day because they had a chance to look at something you know that like they can sit there and tell you that like you're not a good enough parent to raise your kid like like it's i brutal. think it's crap man i've met a lot of people here that are just demolished because they are not with their kids yeah it, man it, it would wreck me and it just doesn't surprise me that people are just wrecked man that's what man I, you know like like i i, I got I, I got family issues of my own right join the club and man. like because because like because i'm not there for my babies when they need me man like that shit crushes me all the time man it crushes me all the time and and like and like i gotta tell you you know is that like there's a lot of other people out here that are just like me you know a lot of other people out here that would benefit or that would do so much better if they had a reason to keep going on every day, you know? But when you take that away from somebody and then you just tell them, well, here, this is what I want you to do. Go ahead, go do it. And then, you, you know, like, it's like the facilitation 
is only in intervening and removing the kids from their from their support system and everybody who cares about them but 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 there's no there's no help on the back end about helping these people get their lives back together you know like if you put a label on somebody and you deem them unfit to do something you know what I mean? Then, like, isn't it your responsibility to then in turn monitor them and see if they do one day or some way fit your label of acceptable? Like, man, I, you know, like, I just don't get it, you know? I mean, I just I'm, don't sorry, get it, I'm sorry that happened. You lost a lot of time with your kids. Man, that's, well, that's, over, that's over half their life, man. But the good news is, they reached out, man. What are you feeling? I just, you know, like, I went through a lot, man. I went through a lot. I think, you know, like, by my measure, it was probably too much, man. And I didn't know what to do. You know what I mean? I didn't have nobody to turn to. You know what I mean? So I probably made mistakes so well, you know? But I just, I just, I don't think it's right, man. I don't think it's right at all, you know? I don't. And I mean, I'm, I never, I never have been one for, you know, like, like, to bad mouth or worry about somebody else in their life and what they're doing, man. Because, like, as you can tell, my life in itself is, is a little bit difficult to manage at times, man. You know? And it's like every day, every day, it's like it's getting lessening and something else is lessening, something else is lacking every day you know like like now civil liberty and the right to and the right to protect yourself privacy all kinds of shit man like it's just it seems like it's disappearing it's getting a little wild for sure yeah sure. like it's, it's it's like it's like this is a whole different country or something man it's a little wild a lot of you othering know? a lot of othering yeah a lot of othering bro is that what you othering. call it othering yeah just Man, now now that I know that, that's okay. Because there's a whole lot of othering going on, man. Well, well, Nico, man, again, I'm really glad I ran into you today. Into you today. I'm glad I can pass along this information. And I hope that you and your daughters. And you're a good dude, connect. man. You're a good dude, <laughs> oh, man. man. And may God bless you, oh, bro. Oh, thanks, man. I appreciate Thank you. It. I appreciate this so bad, bro. Oh, you have yeah. no idea how much I needed this, bro. Good, so and glad. no idea, bro. If you if you ain't helped nobody else throughout all these people you put on this camera, man, just know that you helped me, bro. Real talk, game for real, man. Thank you, bro. Wow, man. I I want I want this to be continued so yeah uh, well you know man uh how, how do we keep go how do i keep going i'd love to show you man, meeting your daughter and man, all that I, you, shit. you know you know what man like i'm i'm gonna go call her i'm gonna go call her here here and here in a little while man or call her i'll call her whenever man call my baby say what's up baby well dude are you open yep all right Squid, what's up with it? Oh, no way. Yep. What's going on, Mama? How are you? Hold on, I'm at work. Why? 
Are you at work? How random. Do you know what? Oh my gosh. I'm sorry. I heard your voice I'm sorry, baby. How are you? I'm I'm all I'm I'm all right, babe. I'm all right, babe. I mean, I'm I'm not all right, but I mean, you know what I mean. Like you know me, I'm still kicking. How did you know to call me? Because the guy called the guy that made the video, right? Yeah, he called. Well, he did. He didn't call. He came out here and came and found me, right? Yeah, and he came and found me, and he showed me the messages. He got a message from you. He got a message and from, from your yeah, and from my brothers and stuff. And so, and I then. Was too, I mean, I'm like too scared. Like I can't go do, you know, come out and just peek around in some tents, and, you know, like. Yeah, I know. Can I know. I, can I, is this your phone? Is no, this your phone no, no. This though, this ain't my phone. But uh, uh, uh he, cause he, we're on camera again, so. Yeah, yeah, right now, right now. So he's 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 got he's recording this and everything. So this is a good dude, man. And so you know, like he he's he's got me. Like he's he's making a story about us. Yeah. Yeah. So so um um I I will give you a I'll give you a, I'll let you get back to work. No, can I wear? Hold on. Are you gonna? So you're gonna be busy for the evening? No, no, no. Um, um. I can. Uh, what time do you? When you get off work? I mean, I, so I, I'm gonna leave at three forty-five. I'm so sorry, guys. This is like a random. It's okay. Um, it's I'm gonna leave right at three forty-five. I was just talking to my coworkers. Um, I'm gonna leave at three forty-five. Um, I'm gonna leave at three forty-five. 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 I'm gonna Yep. Yep. Okay. Yep. Okay. Yep. Thank you. Okay. okay. I love. I love you. Quit crying. I love you, okay. babe. Okay. 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 All right. Okay. Bye. That makes me happy. <laughs> Man, bro. <laughs> Ain't nothing better, man. Hey. Hey. It's okay. You okay? It's okay. I'm all right. I'm all right. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's okay. I'm sorry. It's okay. You're all right. You're all right, Squid. It's okay. I swear it's okay. <laughs> no, I Not the flowers. What's going on? There, you brought your flowers. Are you okay? Look at your look. Yeah, look at you. What do you mean? <laughs> yeah, that's where, that's where you got your face from. How you doing? Damn, you're almost 25. Yeah, like, and I'm, <laughs> I'm having a crisis about it. I know. Wow. No shit, huh? Guess what? Guess what? what? I'm going to visit in Hawaii next week. Your brother. No I got shit, a crazy huh? story. I got some crazy stories for you. I got. No, it's okay. <laughs> Stop crying. You okay? Yeah. yeah. Can I give you a hug, friend? Oh, that's <laughs> really Yeah, are you okay? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs>
Yeah, I'm all right. I'm sorry. It's okay. No, because you, you have, there's no reason you should be out here saying that like life, you, no. Mm. No, I'm just not, I want to That, that's that's like one thing. It's like one thing I wouldn't. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm just a little tiny, but besides that, I'm okay though. Oh. I. Everybody knew. Um, Cause I. I called Andre. Um, just cause he didn't feel. Cool to, I don't know, be the only one who could see you, you know. Mm -hmm. I also, I cried a few months ago because I was scared you were dead, you know, like. Because you couldn't find me for a little I mean, while, well, huh? What am I supposed to, like a 20-year-old go looking in, like, some, everybody's tent, you know? Like, yeah. what am I supposed to do? Yeah. But I was just, uh, I was just scrolling on Instagram, regular Instagram, right? And I find this random, this random reel, okay? It was some other lady mm -hmm. that this guy took a video of. Mm -hmm. And it didn't even resonate with me. I didn't feel any type of way about it at the time. Mm -hmm. But I felt like I just had to click on his profile. Mm -hmm. And so I'm scrolling down the page and I'm like, let me see if, I'm like, watch me mm -hmm. by my dad. I say it out loud. <laughs> After today, too, when you call me, I'm like, I swear I need to write a book, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Should that happen to me, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I knew... Your face still looks the same, I mean... Yeah? Yeah, you look like my dad. It's me. I know. Yeah. You okay? I feel a lot of things, right? I'm okay, yeah. Yeah? You sure? Well, I didn't see this coming today, right. you know, I was just working a regular Wednesday, so, you know.